All right, welcome back traders. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful weekend. Well, Bitcoin, what is she doing here today? Nothing really good, right? So we talked about this uh, this three day, the the three day, 50 day moving average, or you can call it the 150 uh, day moving average, okay, for Bitcoin. Uh, we, we, we never really got above this. We talked about this last week. Let me throw on some tunes here. So we talked about this three-day moving average here last week, and, and that we couldn't we couldn't actually get a closure above it, right? So that still poses, in my opinion, still poses a threat to the price future price of Bitcoin because we're uh, we're coming in on or closing in on a potential death cross. We're in the middle of this though, right? Like you can clearly see, we have uh, this area right here. Sorry, we have this area right here. I'm just gonna put an arrow at it. Okay, we have an air, the the, the three-day right there. And of course, we have the 200 day moving average right here, this red line, right? So you have them kind of coming down, right? So what happens is we're going to get some sort of compression, right? We're going to probably come down to the bottom of this range right around that $40,000 level. People are going to be like, oh man, Bitcoin holding the $40,000 level. This could be a good low risk area to take along. The answer to that is probably it will be a good place to take along. Um, however, it might end up in resulting to come down here to back test this area back again that currently where we're at i'm kind of getting ahead of myself here i'm, I'm suspecting we, we see further prices coming down okay uh based upon how we're getting this closure uh, on the weekly chart uh, we basically almost engulfed this whole area here okay so not not a very good candle um can we come back up to test 44k sure we're gonna it's possibly come back up to test 44k uh, 48k is that level we really want to see get a closure above um, to really remain uh, in in a bullish uh, in a bullish structure, right? We want to see a break above this 42,000 or 48,300 dollar level uh, that we had a, put a wick high in up here. Okay. So closing back below the uh, the weekly 21 exponential and the weekly 50, uh, not 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 too good on the closure there this week and. Uh, like I said before, we really want to see, we really don't want to see this three day converge with the 200 day. That could really create a lot of turmoil, uh, a lot of downside price action for the price of Bitcoin. Despite all this stuff happening with Sailor buying Bitcoin, um, you know, and Luna, the Luna, Luna Duquan guy buying up Bitcoin, those are all like, good news articles about Bitcoin. And listen, I'm, I'm long term bullish Bitcoin. I just think we might see some short term price action to the downside here. Is, as long as we don't get back above this three day, 50 day moving average, you can see this area here acting as a support to, for this little rally here, and then acting as res resistance here for this move down. And likewise, pretty much every single rally we do have with Bitcoin is is holding above this 50 day is, is pretty critical for uh, for a big bull run, right? So hopefully that's kind of clear for you guys and you guys can kind of see that. And uh, you can go to the BLX chart, it'll be a little bit more clear on this chart as well. Uh, this data didn't update yet, but we did make that closure uh, right around that 40, uh, $42,200 area or 180 area today. Okay. And uh, yeah, every single time we get these uh, these death crosses, we would get a capitulation event, right? We had one back in 2014. We had one back in 2018, right? And this is where I think we are today. I think we're, we're like right around this area here uh, in the bear market, okay? Where we, we're going to see this this consolidation and probably squeezing around that that thirty eight to forty thousand dollar level where people are like, man, I think we bottomed out, and then we're going to get that death cross, and that's going to cause a capitulation event down to the, down to break that thirty k level, I think, at some point in time, okay. And uh, listen, man, I know everyone's uh, everyone's uh, I guess bearish or bullish or whatever, but I'm just looking at what I'm seeing on this chart and. Currently, we're not able to get it back back above these levels. Now, I'm not saying we're not going to be able to eventually test back above. What I'm saying is, is short term, I think we come back down to test this forty thousand dollar region. Okay. So I think it's likely we come down to test this low, uh, sweep the lows of this range, which would still technically be a higher low. We'll still be in this technical uptrend bullish structure. My problem is, is I don't really get bullish until we get closures above this three day. All right, we talked about this already last week. Okay, 
Unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Let's take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is still kind of trending down right now. So that, that should be good for altcoins. I'm sure some altcoins are still rallying while Bitcoin kind of doing a bunch of nothing uh, in this range right now. Um, ETH also, uh, ETH looks technically a little bit better than Bitcoin, right? But still rejecting this three day 50 moving average. Um, obviously still putting in some nice higher lows here on ETH. And um, yeah, I, we'll take a look at the ETH BTC chart as well. I think ETH still outperforming Bitcoin for now, but um, if Bitcoin isn't healthy, then I don't know. I don't know how the market can stay healthy if Bitcoin isn't, isn't going to catch some bids, right? So let's look at the Tether chart. Tether putting in a weekly bullish engulfing candle back above the 21 exponential moving average. Not good news for, for cryptocurrencies, obviously. We want to see this uh, go down. If this is going down, then typically uh, Bitcoin's going up. All right. All right, so that's what I got for Bitcoin and Ethereum here tonight. And then we're going to pull up the uh, Glassnode chart here for you guys. So Glassnode kind of in a no trade zone. We've been in this no trade zone since we uh, we topped out here in in uh, in November, right? Kind of in this in this uh, optimism, anxiety type uh, emotion, right? So uh, we're waiting for you know deep orange or pink for uh, capitulation events. And this is what we're, we're really we're really thinking is going to happen. We're going to see some big capitulation event, um, especially if we can't get above that that forty eight thousand fifty thousand dollar region. Okay. And we might we might go back up to test the top side of that range, that forty four point six k. You know that that's definitely some I could definitely see happening. Us, you know, maybe we end up uh, rounding out here or something like right around this forty k region. We try to we try to rally and we fail to rally and. And that's when we really get this breakdown, right? So um, that's what we're looking at. I think that's that's kind of the scenario we're looking at right now. And I don't know what this song is, but I'm going to change it. All right. Shout out to the eight people watching the stream tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure you guys smash up that like button. Hit that bell, that sub, if you guys haven't done so already. I know, not conducive price action for a stream, however... Just want to just lay out the facts, right? Make sure you guys all know what's what's to come. And I think uh, we're we're gonna be trading between this 44.78k area and between 39.3. These are the levels to look out for. We're in the smack dab middle of this range right now. All right. Okay, guys and girls. So, um, I would say, yeah, no trade zone for here right now. We're right on support, potentially supports. Maybe see if we can base out here for maybe a quick scalp long back up to the top of the range. If not, wait for a breakdown and confirm uh, confirm a some sort of support before looking for some long trades, right? And then maybe look for shorts towards the top of the range. Right now we're, we're we're in the middle of this range, so that's it for now on Bitcoin. So we covered uh, the Nuple chart, fear and greed. I assume we're back in the fear. We are back in fear. Bitcoin repeat chart, cycle repeat chart is also kind of singing the same tune. We're singing. Uh, Singing the tune down to about 30k region here in May, end of May. And it's calling for a capitulation event towards the end of the year. All right. So that's it. That's all we got for now on Bitcoin. Uh, just pay attention to these levels, right? 40k and 44.6k we got 10 people watching you guys want to you guys want to provide or uh, ask some questions or you got some comments concerns maybe some other assets you guys want to look at 
take a look at the S&P and what it's doing right now. I assume it's much of the same as uh, the crypto market actually follows the S&P a lot of the time. So S&P kind of down flattish right now. NASDAQ futures also basically flat, down a little bit, 0.9%. All right. RSI on BTC. I can uh, throw on the RSI indicator here. If I if I had to guess, it's somewhere in the 40 range. We're almost there, man. We're almost there for long-term buying opportunities, like on the weekly, right? So on the weekly, we're looking for yeah buys below 40. So 47 right now. I'd be looking for another leg down to, to maybe long-term accumulate. Right? I think in time it will, yes. I think in time it will. I don't think... I think we're, we're going to consolidate in this, uh, you know, 38 to 40, uh, $44,000 range here for a bit. And we're going to get some squeezing going on. And then I think eventually we'll get that death cross. If we get that death cross, that's when we're going to get the capitulation event. Probably down to, you know, $24,000 $24, range, right? And I think that'll happen towards the end of the year. But for now, it'll just be uh, kind of a slow bleed or consolidation, I think, in this range. Until we actually get uh, a breakdown, right? So it's what's what's what it's looking like. It's what it's looking like. We do have some altcoins that are outperforming still. All right. So like I said, not really doing anything here. This is a middle of the range kind of zone right here. Um, we're gonna see if we get follow through price action on this bearish weekly engulfing candle. This could proceed to, uh, you know, break down to close to that 38.6 level here. This level right here. There's also a support around 40k roughly. Yeah, we can look at dot. Sure. I mean, dot broke out of the wedge, hit the weekly 21 exponential moving average, then bearish engulfing candle back down to the 382 fib extension. Gonna emulate a lot what Bitcoin's doing if if this area doesn't hold as support. I mean, we could, man. This could be an inverse head and shoulders pattern here on dot. It all depends if Bitcoin ends up holding up, man. That's that's the whole thing here. If Bitcoin can hold up, then man, then all these patterns can play out. We'll see. And dot is, uh, yeah, I mean, dot's like pretty close to a, buy, a long term buy, right? Weekly, uh, weekly down here on 43, 44, right? The this, this, this buying opportunity down here in the 40 range was, was probably, probably the spot to do it. Again, gonna still depend on what Bitcoin's doing, man, unfortunately. And, uh, Bitcoin, right? We need Bitcoin to uh, to, to take back that forty eight thousand dollar level. That's what we need to see this week. That'd be good to see. All right, Avax. Avax still uh, still holding above the weekly twenty one. Obviously, putting in a nasty bearish engulfing candle here, taking out last two weeks of price action. I'm still holding above the weekly twenty one. Although you know, if Bitcoin starts selling off, this could. Also, probably sell off. We're looking at bottom of the range of 65 bucks, or maybe even 68 bucks. But hey, if you if you make a week a higher weekly candle body close, then uh, you know that'd be good, right? Then we making higher lows still technically. We're still in this long term channel up too. As soon as we break it, man, that's when you really want to probably take short positions on uh, for this asset or just be in cash, right? 
Yep, so if you if you start breaking this channel, you're looking at uh, your first major level here around 50 53 dollars, right? Sure, we can take a look at gold. We got a bearish cross, but uh, we could be starting to, to, to produce uh, what looks to be like daily uh, hidden bullish divergence here on gold, maybe. Okay, we can kind of see this negative momentum sort of weaning off here, implying a, a, move, a move to the upside here on gold. Gold looking pretty good. Looks nice, gold's looking nice. You can see a rip back up here at the top of the range on gold. 2100 probably. This looks like a big cup and handle type of structure. You guys see that? See the big cup? So this could be your handle here for a continuation on gold. The long term targets here for gold still, still intact I think for now. Alright, the structure here is still looking pretty strong. So yeah, here we go. Natural gas, here, let's take a look at it. That looks pretty strong, just uh, back testing this area as, as a support. That looks like it's about to break a major trade range, man. So you uh, you back test this area to support, you rally, you can rally all the way up to about 14 and a quarter, man, doubling up. Natural gas. That looks pretty intense. Technically it broke it, right? Broke the supply line, now just back testing it. Wow. This looks like a massive uh, descending broadening wedge pattern here as well. I mean, you're right at you're right at this. It just broke above of this six one eight fib extension, man. I mean, you would you would think that. If we're not getting a retrace here, uh, we're gonna head to nine and a quarter pretty fast. There's nothing really here, man. Just straight up, straight down type of stuff on natural gas. All right, US 30. So what is this, the Dow basically? Yeah, I mean, dude, it doesn't look too hot, right? Like, yeah. So we break out of this channel, I mean, this could be shorted, right? I mean, it could be shorting this and we could just do one of those eventually go back up, but we could get rejection here. This could be, you know, recession types movements we could be going into now. We'll see. 
I, I, I don't, I, it doesn't look good. We didn't get it, we didn't really get a good closure on, I mean, Oh, the 30 year bonds. Is that what you meant? The 30 year bonds? I don't know. I think I have those somewhere. I have the 10 years. Uh, look at the 30 year bonds. Sure. Yeah, the, the 10 year and the 30 year look the same. They look like they're about to rip. I mean, this is a massive, massive downsloping, uh, descending broadening structure. This is gonna break out or Yeah, this looks like it's gonna rip. The uh, 30 year bonds. Yeah, the Dow doesn't look so good. Down sloping channel. Uh not looking too promising. NASDAQ getting crushed right now down a uh, half a percent. Oil kind of just uh, down 1% currently. But the VIX is going to rip tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty brutal trading week, I think, man, this week. What's the DXY looking like? Wow, look at that pin bar, man, on the four hour. That's. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a rejection candle, man, on the daily. How'd that weekly close? Ah, uh, the weekly, uh, man, very strong weekly candle for the for the DXY, man. That's that's a breakout. That's a breakout. That is a uh, DXY breakout on the weekly. And yeah, we got some separation here on the Stokes. DXY looking strong, guys, unfortunately. It sucks. That means uh, dollar denominated assets might, uh, might, might go down for a bit. Yeah. Brutal. It's technically in a monthly breakout too. Looking left here. All right, I don't necessarily have good news. Short. On Luna, man, be careful shorting Luna. But I guess this this would be the area to do it. You know, right at the uh, right at the the one two seven two fib extension. Obviously, a major rising wedge, right? You haven't confirmed it. You haven't confirmed the the rising wedge. Just yeah, I guess technically maybe you have now. Depends on where you're drawing it from. But technically not yet. On confirmation of that. But yeah, you'd be looking at, uh, you know, 50 bucks. Hey, we got a major capitulation from uh, from Bitcoin, man. I mean, this thing is easily gonna get smoked. Yeah, this, this looks like, looks kinda topish on the monthly too. Yeah, lots of downside here, potentially on Luna.
I'm probably gonna take a break from the charts, man. I, uh, I'm going on vacation next week, so, uh... Definitely, uh, definitely need a need a long needed vacation, right, guys? Come on, I've been uh, doing Sunday streams for you guys for a long for uh, for a while. I don't think I've missed one, right? Maybe one or two here and there, but I'll try to get on here for you guys every Sunday. Jamaica, man, Jamaica. Indeed, indeed. You guys liking the tunes tonight? I like this. This is nice. Let's get some ones in the chat if you guys are enjoying the music. Enjoying the stream tonight. Regardless of the price action. We're coming back up to back test this area right here. Trying to trap some shorts or maybe some longs here. Wow, Rash joined the stream tonight. Get some ones in the chat for Arash joining the stream tonight. simple these are the areas we're looking out for right now basically 40k 39.5 area the 200 day moving average on the three-day chart and of course the top of the range here right around this 44.6k level okay we want to break above this uh, this this three-day moving average which is right around that area 44.6.7 K okay I want to see a break above that if we can do that then we can come up to test this $48,000 level, which we got rejected from. If we can get above 48,000, well, then we're, we're gonna look towards the next, the, next, the next range break, which should be around 51K, if we, can, if we can get there, right? Downside, 40K, that's, that's the area we're looking at right here to stay in this uptrend if we can, right? But like I said, we have these converging trend lines, the 50-day and the 200-day, if they cross, we will get a death cross on a three-day time scale. We, we haven't done that since 2018 back here, okay? And I think it's going to take some more time to, to kind of pan out. I think we're, in terms of where we're at in this cycle, I think we're like 
we just did one of these. I think we just did this, okay? Where we came up to the three day and we rejected it. We came up to the three day and we rejected it, okay? Hope I'm wrong and we don't have this death cross, but it looks like that's what's forming right now. And so I just want to be as transparent with you as I, as I can. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that uh, we could see further prices to the downside. All right, all right guys. But like I said, just, tra just trade the ranges, right? So 40K, we know we're probably gonna get a bounce there. And then we'll probably bounce back up to kind of where we're at, right around that 43, $44,000 area if we get some, if we get a nice bounce. But that's it, we're in the middle of this trading range right now. Trying to trying to uh, come back above this uh, forty two thousand dollar level right now on the hourly candle. So we got we caught some bids here right off the 50-day uh, moving average here on the daily. That's what's uh, catalyzing this move up here. Again, we're we're just back testing this area that we broke down from. Shall see how this plays out, guys. Hopefully, like I said, we can break back above 48k. That would be that would be the bullish scenario, guys, to break back above 48K. But yeah, it would make sense. Also, maybe we come up to test again, 44.6. That's that area right here now, okay? Could do that, could very well do that. And in terms of the monthly, the really important level here is is this 38.3 level, okay? If we start putting, if we start making monthly closures below that, better bet your bottom dollar we're gonna see lower prices, okay? So far we're not in jeopardy of that. So far we are not in jeopardy of that. How's it going, Bones? Looks like we're doing one of these right now, where we had, uh, well, I guess we had technically two green monthlies. It's not gonna copy exactly what we did, but I think I think we're 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 doing something similar to this that we did in 2018. And you can see we we, we came pretty close off this uh, off the monthly uh, 50 day, so we'll probably. Uh, if we have this capitulation event now, you know, we're looking at 22K, that's what we're looking at. Sure, we can take a look at ADA. Nothing really good happening on this chart either, right? So it's 
still within the means of this downsloping channel. We could be trying to set up for an inverse head and shoulders, but man, I just don't know that that's going to happen, especially if Bitcoin doesn't Bitcoin doesn't hold up, man. This isn't going to hold up either. Right? Like some could argue that hey, this is an inverse head and shoulders pattern and and we're literally right at the right shoulder area here. We don't want to go any lower. We don't want to break this neckline of the shoulder. If we do, this pattern it becomes invalidated. It's going to it's going to come down to how Bitcoin breaks. Bitcoin breaks down to 38k or 39k. A lot of these altcoins are just going to get annihilated. Right? Bitcoin can break back above 48K and start making higher highs. Different conversation. We have yet to see Bitcoin do that. All right, I want to thank the uh, the 12 people watching the stream tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on your Sunday. Make sure you guys smash up that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. You guys know what to do. Um, join the Discord if you haven't done so already. If you guys are interested in any of the SCP products, you guys are interested in, in trying out our, our indicators, our, our bots. Uh, we are coming out with SAR v version 5 here, uh, hopefully by the end of this month or into next month. Um, we got some cool things on the way for you guys. If you guys are into automated trading. All right. Of course, uh, check out the VIP if you guys are looking for more advanced strategies. We do have our VIP call tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you guys are part of it. You guys got anything else here tonight? Unfortunately, this is not a very uh, exciting stream. I know price action, not so good. Um, kind of what I've, been, what I've been talking about, not so good. Right? But you guys are the ones that are gonna benefit the most once, uh, once we do come into that capitulation area, right? You guys are gonna be the ones benefiting. Right? The folks that aren't paying attention right now are the ones that are going to suffer and probably buy the tops and sell the bottoms, right? So it's good that you guys are here and good that you guys are investing the time. You know, if I could do it all over again, I would, uh, I would have spent all my, all my time learning, learning, learning the ways, right? Learning the ways. This is pretty cool. This uh, this indicator here is called the Gaussian channel, and every single time you throw it on the five-day chart, you can see uh, once we go start to turn red, we stay we stay red for like a solid year, All right? Like it, it turned red here in uh, July, and 
We didn't get out of this red zone until May. Basically an entire year. So uh, if we uh, plot this out, basically an entire year would bring us to, uh, you know, April of next year. Okay. So we could really do something like this where we, uh, you know, kind of bottom out and then the next run. I mean, it could be a deeper retrace too. Like it really depends on really what the mark, what the market makers are, are doing or planning on for, uh, for Bitcoin. So like I said, 40K and 45K, I would say are your short term ranges right now to look at. Okay. We're kind of in the middle of that range right now. Let me know if you guys have any other tickers you guys want to go over tonight. Even though like traditional stocks are fine or any other commodities, gold, silver. We went through gold actually. Um, yeah, whatever you guys want, shoot them in the chat. Tesla, yeah, let's take a look at it. There it is. I even had this drawn out last week for you guys. Yeah, I think this is a rejection and I think we're gonna see uh, Tesla come on down. Tesla's gonna come on down. All right, bones. LCID, Lucid Group. Well, that was a failed cup and handle, huh? Wrecked. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're at a pretty critical uh, support there. Like on the five day or on the weekly. Yeah, that doesn't look too hot, man. Bearish engulfing candle. That doesn't look too good, man. Doesn't look too good. Uh, for lucid, probably this twenty dollar area. If you break that, you know you got some 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 wicks down to like eighteen or you know sixteen, but ultimately probably fifteen. And then you'd probably be looking for like that seventy eight point six eight eight six retrace. Okay, yeah, like twelve bucks between like fourteen and twelve dollar area. I think you can see a massive M shape on this if you really uh, dial it in. You can see it, right? You can use this low and then use this high and then, you know, maybe a Gartley down to uh, the 786 or the 886 on this asset. What stock would you put $1,000 in today to hold? I wouldn't put any money into stocks right now. Truthfully. But if I was, probably an energy stock, maybe like uh, Exxon or something. And Exxon is probably gonna probably break out. Although I, I don't know, man. I don't like I don't like buying things already at 70 on the RSI. Um Yeah, I don't know, man. Just save your money. 
Don't put it into stocks right now until this market uh, decides what it wants to do. I think we're, we're gonna see uh, not so good price action. All right. CGC and Algorand. Yeah, let's take a look at CGC. I was bullish on like the weed stocks, man, but man, last week was just not a good week. Like we just got mass nasty rejection candle. I'm still personally holding this stock too, and but this can just continue going on down, man. Like we could see five bucks in time here if we don't catch bids. I don't know when the split's happening, man. No clue. But uh, for CGC, I mean, yeah, another, again, like major M, M structure here, it looks like. We could see three bucks. We could see three bucks. Right, uh, 250, even down to a dollar and 75, right? The 886 fit extension. It sucks. Sucks, but that could, that could, that's that's an M shape. That's uh, what we're dealing with here right now. HNT, and yeah, we can look at it. Well, we had a rising wedge, and it's definitely playing out. We could, we could see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We could see. Uh, you know, we could see four dollars for this thing if we really go into bear market. And your next next major target is like this fifteen eighty five area. Then you got nine bucks, and so on. But if if you're in a rising wedge, which looked to be like you were in after you made a closure outside this trend line, so it should see price action come down, man. That's just what this is looking like right now. Looks like downside price action to be had here. Well, you're not you're not making higher highs. I mean, I guess technically you broke this trend line, but you just came right back down to the supply line here, and we'll see. If you end up holding this low, sure, maybe you can pivot and rally here, right? It's going to depend a lot what Bitcoin's doing. That's what helium looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have anything good to talk about here. Yeah, sixteen dollar meter support or twenty dollar meter support here. You had this break. It looks like a fake break, and you're coming down again to back test the support. All right. Doesn't look doesn't look all that good on the larger time scales either. We can look at Amazon, sure. Let's see, look at Amazon. Looks like a massive rising wedge as well. Didn't confirm anything yet, but we're about to. We start break if we start making closures outside. Start making closures outside this supply, uh, this demand line here, man. You guys know what it is, right? We got a failed rally here, lower high. This looks gross. Doesn't look so good. Looks like we're in a squeeze too on the monthly, man. This could get brutal. This could get brutal. 
This looks like a... This looks like a top. <laughs> looks like a top. What do I know, though? I don't know. I don't want to call it... I don't want to sit here and, and speculate tops, but this looks like a nasty top. Look, you, see, you can see the rounding action, right? You can see the rounding action here. This is how you know it's potentially a top, okay? You got rounding price action like that. You might do something like this where we try to rally up again and then we could just make a massive head and shoulders pattern and just break down. Looks like it could be doing set, setting up to do something like that. Unfortunately, I don't have good news here for Amazon. Looks like we're topped out. see how we close the next couple months here but we could be putting in some uh, maybe hidden bullish divergence on the monthly we'll see this isn't this isn't too clear yet we haven't like I said we haven't made closures uh, you know below the demand line to confirm a rising wedge or anything but you can you can see how massive this is if this does correct it's gonna be a massive 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 drop All right. All right. I want to thank everybody for joining the stream tonight. Make sure you guys smash up that like button if you guys enjoyed the content here. Of course, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and tick the little bell. And if, if you're interested in uh, in joining the community, make sure you guys join the Discord. That is where all of the important information that happens in this community. Or we just come on YouTube once a week here to do some TA for you guys. And uh, we will be pushing out some more content. If you guys could, uh, definitely leave a comment um, after the stream is posted. If you guys have any, uh, any content ideas, of course, we're always open to those. Make sure you guys post those in the description. Or you guys can join the Discord and also uh, leave those in the suggestion box. All right. Thank you guys so much again for joining the stream. And you guys have a wonderful week. Hopefully uh, we can see Bitcoin break above 48K. That would be really bullish. Right. We want to see that. All right. Thank you guys so much. And uh, have a great uh, re have a wonderful week.